Okay guys, so I just want to show you something insane. What on earth is this squirrel doing? He has been here for 10 minutes and he will not leave. Watch. Are you my new pet? I don't understand this squirrel. He scared the crap out of me too. My blinds were closed and I just hear a huge thump on my window. And I'm thinking somebody's breaking in, but no, there's a squirrel just latched onto my window. I'm afraid that this screen is gonna fall off. This screen right here doesn't fit all the way, so I'm kind of scared, but he, I don't know. Go back home. Go! Go to your squirrel family. I don't want you to fall. I don't want the screen to fall on you. Just jump. Just end it all. Just jump. Look at those beady little eyes. This is the closest I've ever been to a squirrel. Look, you can see like his tail. So it's really quite cool. So I'll just take advantage of this. Uh, not exactly what I wanted to see, but okay. But, oh, 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 there he goes. He's down on the ground now. Maybe he's leaving now? That was the most bizarre thing I think I've ever seen. Oh, now he's on the porch. Kind of looks like a cat. How funny. So that squirrel thing was probably the weirdest thing ever. I'm just sitting over there, just minding my own business, eating a bagel, and then I just hear a huge bang on the window. I look over, I just see the shadow of a squirrel moving around on the blinds, and I'm just like, really? What up guys? You guys said that you wanted me to do more vlogging type videos, so that's what I'm doing. I don't have to go to work today, so I'm just kind of chilling today, and uh, I think I'm going to go get dressed. Oh my gosh, I woke up TMI, uh, and it's shark week now, and I'm just like, uh, I feel like I'm being stabbed. I think I'm going to go get dressed. I just, I wanted chocolate so bad, and the best thing I could find was a fiber one bar. And yeah, today's just so weird. You know those days where you just wake up and it's just weird? I don't know. I think I actually want to put a little bit of makeup on today because I just, I feel, I feel weird. I don't, I don't know. I just, I feel weird. I've been watching like a lot of like weird, scary stuff lately. <laughs> I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Probably. There's like something on Netflix called like America's Book of Secrets. And last night I watched one about serial killers and I've been like watching stuff about like urban legends. And I don't know, I'm just like freaked out, especially when I'm here by myself. Yesterday when Brandon got home from work, I was just like, oh, oh like I could breathe. And any little noise is like freaking me out. That's why when the squirrel hit the window, I was like, Ugh. when shit hit the fan. No, when the squirrel hit the window, freaking out. But I'm gonna go get dressed now, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Actually, I lied. I think I'm gonna do some dishes first before I get dressed because the dishes are starting to pile up. So I will do these and then I will get dressed, even though I don't feel like doing these right now, but I will. You have to adult sometimes. And how great is my nail polish? It reminds me of like a like a pony or like a unicorn or something. I don't know. Princessy and girly and I don't know. I like them. Uh, they're about to get ruined in the sink. So bye. Hi guys. It's later in the day and I know I said I might put makeup on. Well, I'm not doing that. It's just such a bad day. <laughs> I mean, I'm one of those people I get up and I make my bed every day and I haven't even made the bed yet today. So I'm just like, ugh. Ow, just hit my elbow. Oh, just look at me guys. Look at this ratchet queen. I'm just even like thinking about brewing some coffee. It's just, I don't know, like the first day of your period, you just feel like you're just in a tornado or something. I don't know. I feel like I can't even open my eyes all the way, but I'm trying to find some light all under my sink. Yeah, I, yeah. Light off, light off. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mother Nature. Now I'm sitting on the floor. I, like, I was like laying down on the couch. Like, I'm one of those people when I'm not working, like when I'm at home, like from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to bed, I'm busy, busy, moving, doing stuff, cleaning, uh, working out, painting, editing videos, filming videos, uh, doing my hair, doing my, 
today I just I can't and I'm expecting something in the mail actually I'm expecting a few things in the mail two things two things in the mail and I want to go check the mailbox and I'm just I'm like look at me I am sitting on my bathroom floor what is life okay and that squirrel thing earlier and I'm just I'm in like such a funk I don't know about you guys okay but I took a shower and I don't know, but like taking a shower when you're home by yourself is like the scariest thing ever for me. And I don't know why. I feel like I can just hear stuff. And I try playing music while I'm in the shower. I try like leaving the door open when I'm by myself. Like, I don't know, but I just feel like there's somebody else in the house. I don't know why, but I've always been that way. Even when I lived like with my grandma, if she would like go to the store and then I would take a shower, like it would just freak me out. Like I feel like I hear stuff. I don't know, but I'm gonna get up off the bathroom floor and I'm gonna walk out here. Let's turn on a light. Oh my gosh, I need to take this mite all. This is just, you guys out there, if you're a man, just thank God every day that you do not have to deal with this. It is a fate worse than death. And if you have a sister, your mom, your girlfriend, your wife, your, your grandma, maybe not grandma. But if you have a woman in your life that complains about that time of the month and you think she's overreacting? No. <laughs> no. It is the worst thing ever. I think I even read somewhere that uh, like period cramps are supposed to like prepare you for labor when you have a child. Like it's literally, it, it, don't disregard your females in pain, okay? If you want a guy that you don't have to be like, can you give me chocolate please? I remember one night I was working really late. It was like the first or second day of my period and I was just I think I almost called out that day and when I came home there was a plate of brownies for me and I'm just like that's the kind of guy you want in your life that is the kind of guy you want in your life okay and then there was another time where Brandon came home from work and I was here all day and he brought me a huge king-size Hershey's bar that that right there, ladies, is what you need in your life. That is what you need. You don't need anything else in your life. But right now, I'm just watching YouTube and editing a video, editing thumbnails and stuff like that. I don't know. I And I haven't been sleeping very well lately. This is another thing. I feel like I'm just going off on a tangent. I haven't been sleeping very well. And I've been, like, editing tons of videos, like, super late at night. Last night, I didn't go to bed till like, after 1 o'clock. I'm usually one of those people that sleep by, like, 10 p.m. It's, it's kind of weird. I don't know. Like, I'm becoming a creature of the night. Now, like, I stay up and I watch, like, all these YouTube videos. I edit videos. I don't know. I feel like it's it's time that I can use, you know? I, I don't really like sleeping. <laughs> I like to wake up as soon as I possibly can because I don't like to waste my time. So, yeah, let me get this my doll. I don't think I'm going to brew the coffee just because I don't feel like it. I mean, I would love some coffee right now to wake me up, but maybe when Brandon gets home, if it's not too late. So yeah, oh, my camera says I only have four more minutes left to film, so I'm gonna import some stuff, and I look like a child. I look like a 10-year-old little boy. <laughs> That's the thing, I don't think I look bad without makeup, but I just feel like I look really childish. Yeah, I'm gonna go import some stuff and do some stuff. Oh, and there's a dead... I'm gonna show you this. Brandon killed this this morning. This is so disgusting. I just saw this here, and I'm like, uh, okay. There's a squashed palmetto bug on the floor. So, that happened. Alright, well, I'm gonna go now, guys. Bye! And it's a whole new day. Uh, all the stuff that you saw about me sitting on the floor and the squirrel and everything, that was from yesterday. So today I have makeup on for the first day in a few days. Makeup on fleek though. Okay, so I have to take out the trash in a second because it kind of smells in here because Brandon accidentally threw away our trash can lid. That's another story. But this morning my neighbors were like fighting like bad fighting like I thought somebody was gonna get hurt I was about to call the police but then I was like oh wait I don't know their apartment number so I was like mm, I don't want them to show up at like my door and be like hey I, I don't know have you ever been in that situation where you thought you should call the police and then you just like had this excuse as to why you should I probably should have still called I can't, I mean, I don't cuss on my channel for the most part, but they were like, get out of my effing house. And I heard all this banging, like it was actually shaking my living room because our 
our apartments are attached, but there's an apartment in between mine and theirs. So there's a whole nother like little house in between. And it was so loud that there was banging and it was shaking my living room. They fight a lot. And this is the second time in a week. Brandon woke up, it was last Saturday uh, at like four in the morning, they were fighting about cigarettes. Oh, you smoked all my cigarettes. And Brandon said they were fighting until like 7 a.m. about cigarettes. Really? Uh, they're really weird. They're kind of new. They've only been here for like a month maybe, but they just, I don't know, like they're always home. I know I like say all the time, like, oh, my neighbors are always home, but no, these neighbors are literally always here, especially the woman. I don't think she works or anything. I, I think they might actually like be on drugs. And I say that out of concern, you know, I feel like they, I don't know, they need something. Uh, but I actually like want to go complain to our office and like say like, get these people evicted. I don't know, they're just very inconsiderate, very loud, very rude. But they're like polite, like when we're like walking by, like they're like, oh hey, how are you? Like they're polite. It's weird, but they're rude. I don't know, you know those people that are like that? It's like they do rude stuff, those neighbors that are super loud, but then when you see them, they're like, oh hi. Like, I secretly hate you. <laughs> so I'm gonna go take out the trash. And I have not seen the return of my squirrel friend. He is not back, so maybe he's gone away. My little Anoli friend, Canoli, has not returned. I don't know where he went. Maybe he got eaten by a bird. I don't know, I haven't seen him in at least a week or two. It's like 2 p.m. right now, and then I'm probably just gonna chill. I have to work tonight at six. It kind of sucks because I really haven't worked much this week, and I work tonight until like 10 o'clock and then tomorrow morning I work at like 11.45 so it's like I work tonight and then I work in the morning and I haven't worked for like the past three days so yeah that kind of sucks. Oh it's dark. Oh it's dark. Oh do you see my painting I'm working on? I'm, ac Ooh. I'm actually filming a video of me painting this like it's gonna be like a speed sped up painting thing and I'm actually hoping to sell this. I don't know I'll open like an Etsy or something but, uh, yeah, interested buyers, start saving your money. I'll probably explain, like, the meaning, inspiration behind it once I'm done, but... <sighs> the thing with this is, it's oil paint, and I've never worked with oil paint before. I usually just use acrylic, and when I ran out of acrylic, I didn't know what kind of paint I used. I was like, oh, probably doesn't really matter. It makes a huge difference. If you use acrylic, stick with acrylic. If you use oil, stick with oil. I personally like acrylic better, because the colors mix better together. I like the use of water. I can't use water on this, so I don't really like that. But it's it's coming out good. It just doesn't dry. If you look up oil paint, it really just does not dry. It usually takes like a week. And I don't have a place to store it. It's kind of just like in my kitchen halfway in the living room. <laughs> I just like, I cross my fingers that Brandon or I doesn't knock it over and the paint just gets everywhere. So what did I just step on? <laughs> It's like pasta. But yeah, I'm gonna go take out this stinky trash and check the mail, see if I got anything in the mail. And uh, then I'm gonna come in and relax. This should be fun. Hey guys, so all right, I just took out the trash and I checked the mail and there's no mail. And mm. Now I'm in my sweater that you may have seen me unbox in my latest, was it a P.O. Box haul? Yeah, was it? No, it was a favorites video. You may have seen me unbox this in my July favorites. It's from Mooncats. It's so comfy. Although it's still too hot to wear this outside. Florida's just... But indoors with my AC on, this is quite comfortable. So now I'm just sitting here. My apologies for yesterday's little thing with me sitting on the bathroom floor and complaining about being a girl. It happens. I'm just watching YouTube and just sitting here. I was gonna film videos today, but I only have like so much space on my computer. This is my logic. I only have so much space on my computer, so much space on my camera. So I already have like a bunch of pre-recorded videos that I need to like get up, you know what I mean? So once all those are up, I'll start like filming again next week, probably like Monday. I'll just start filming videos again. And a lot of you guys were telling me to just make a vlogging channel, but I feel like if you, like my videos that you'll just watch any at least that's like my logic you know if there's youtubers that i really really like i'll watch whatever videos they put up whether it's a vlog whether it's a story whether it's their favorites whether it's a makeup video whether it's 
uh, rambling on about just something random. I don't know. Like, if I like somebody, I'll just watch whatever they put up. So, you know, if you don't like these type of videos, you don't have to watch. If you do, then you do. Or if you just like me in general, you know, like, it's just... I don't know. I mean, maybe in the future I will make a channel just for day-to-day -day videos. For right now. You know, because my channel is still relatively small, so I feel like, you know, we can all just gather here.